Hi, my name is Kerry Ann, and welcome back to Esoteric Technologies Get a Grip Astro Gold for iOS. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to build on your charts the options. We're going to be looking at the toolbar and go specifically into the settings. I'm also going to show you how to save to files and editing, and of course, the event type. So stay tuned and let's get a grip on Astro Gold for iOS. Now I'm going to be showing you how to create the three charts. Now you've probably been playing around with your iPad or your iPhone since the last recording that I did. And as you know, um, with the iOS, we can do up to three charts. But what you may not have um, played around with is the other options that are available. So let's go have a look now. Select the amount of charts you wish to display. Now in this area, you can see that we can either create transits here and now, we can edit charts, we can create a new chart, subsidiary charts, and also select from the files that we've created. Now let's go to the toolbar to settings and I'm going to get you to tap onto that drop down menu and we're going to look at all the options that we've had to actually enhance your charts. Astro Gold for iOS gives you many options to enhance your charts. You can make changes when necessary at any time. So keep on tapping into those areas and discover how. So creating a new chart and naming it. Now what you'll see is a little plus sign. And once you tap on that, it'll give you the option to name that file. Now tap on the word edit and immediately see a plus sign. You can also delete your charts too here. Now you can name the new chart file and you'll also see the date that you've created it. Once you've created the chart file name, click save and you can start saving into that particular chart file. Editing any chart is so easy. Just simply tap on to edit and make your changes. Create the date by either using the alphabet or numerically. Deleting a file is quite easy. All you do is just swipe to the left and click delete. Too many charts? Quite easy, just swipe to the left and delete. When you create a new chart, you want to specify the event type and this is where you do it. So now let's go to country or US state. If you type in the USA, you'll find that you can't proceed. So you need to actually put the city name. So it's the place and then the city name in the US. In Australia, we can just add the city name and then add the country Australia. Now the final area that I want to take you to is subsidiary charts. Now this is where you're going to have a world of fun. So let's just click on to that. So once you've clicked on to subsidiary charts, you can see that you've got many options and you can just keep on clicking through here to find where you need to make your changes. Well, that's it. I hope you've got a grip on Astro Gold for iOS. I use this software program in my school of astrology, Zoom to the Stars. For all you newly interested, budding astrologers, and the seasoned astrologers. You just can't go wrong. And we'll see you next time.